what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we'll be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about the strangers trilogy we'll be talking about chucky season three we'll be talking about these first reactions to the nun two and we'll be talking about the exorcist believer now just to start it off with the strangers trilogy recently i shared with you guys that the strangers trilogy would be within the same universe according to one of the stars despite reports of it being a remake trilogy now august 2023 which has come and gone at this point was expected as the release but the strikes altered plans it seems and now we know we were also robbed of a first look at comic-con that would have occurred back in july but there's also more firstly shout out to you is tamra home for keeping the news coming with this series i'll actually leave a link to your website down in the description again here's what would have happened at comic-con in july actress and executive producer this is according to the description actress and executive producer madeline patch and producer courtney solomon discuss the strangers and will provide an exclusive first look clip from their new horror trilogy which will be in theaters from lionsgate in 2024 so we would have gotten to see some type of clip of the film i would assume back in july which would of course made its way online at some point the last bit there though is the most significant to me because it for now clears up the thought of going straight to streaming and it again lets you know that of course it did indeed shift to 2024 the release anyway the strangers will be back on the big screen going off of this scrapped comic-con plan description again i'll link this article from is tamra home in the description for you guys to read here's what i also was kind of thinking about what if the release plan since they've already finished shooting all three movies what if they release a new movie every three months or so beginning next year whenever the first film arrives they could drop a movie a every month in theaters also could be a format they take but it also depends on what marketing is being considered and how they want to go about the marketing and putting it all out there i could see them adopting a style of doing a movie every few months since you already have three why drop all of them so fast like that that's just me but diving into chucky season three chucky season three's teaser dropped earlier today mixed reactions i saw from a lot of people over on chucky twitter i did enjoy it but yes i would have loved to see our trio i get what they're going for devin sawa is the bigger name devin sawa is the person that they want to draw attention to since we were mis misdirected into thinking he would not be back i get it i get all of the marketing tactics devin sawa yes is back in chucky season three he's the president of the united states and chucky we know will be at the oval office causing trouble for these political snakes here's an updated plot description from fangoria in regards to chucky season three so in chucky's unending thirst for power season three now sees chucky in ensconced with the most powerful family in the world america's first family inside the infamous walls of the white house how did chucky wind up here what in god's name does he want and how can jake devin and lexi possibly get to chucky inside the world's most secure house all while balancing the pressures of romantic relationships and growing up meanwhile tiffany faces a looming crisis of her own as the police close in on her for jennifer tilly's murderous rampage last season now some theories based on this teaser that i've seen is that they could be doing a 50 50 thing or 50 50 split so like the first half that we're getting in october could be with the newbies at the white house and then the other half could be with lexi devin and jake trying to make their way to the white house which i would assume would have to include miss fairchild possibly andy and kyle but you better hope that isn't true if you're someone who wants to see the trio this october you better hope that is not true because then that would mean they are not going to appear anywhere in these four episodes that we're about to get however i do suspect that they will be in these four episodes the synopsis makes it clear that the kids still matter so don't worry about them not being a factor in season three i've seen so many people think that this teaser means that they have somehow scrapped what they were doing and dom mancini wrote up something else and they, that's what they filmed no 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 otherwise why were those kids there what were they doing there were they just there hanging out it's just i see no logic behind that they're they're involved that's why they're mentioned in the plot synopsis they're they're still relevant but the first reactions for the nun have arrived the nun too i should say they've arrived arrived online there was like a world premiere last night in la most of them are positive i will admit uh perry from collider had this to say just to talk about a couple of the reactions i'm not going to talk about all of them but Perry from Collider had this to say about The Nun 2. She said, The Nun 2 is a rock-solid new installment of the Conjuring universe, or of the Conjuring-verse. Yet again, Tysa Farmiga and, 
and Jonas Bloquette are winning leads and love the fresh energy Storm Reed brings to the series. Eager for another watch to overanalyze the new additions to the lore, but on the first go around, thought the colliding storylines worked quite well. Just like the first Nun, the eerie atmosphere is hugely effective and there's a bunch of strong set pieces. The magazine rack scene featured in the trailer is great, but there's a certain something in the third act that will wound up being that wound up being my favorite for me. Or wound up being the favorite for me. Tessa also from Mama's Geeky said this about the Nun 2. She said the Nun 2 is a is infinitely better than the first film. It's scarier and much more intense. This is what I wanted out of the first one, which was too heavy and bogged down with lore. Now we get to leave fun not, or now we get to have fun with this terrifying villain. Stay for the mid-credit scene. So echoing what I was talking about from my friend who saw a test screening, it's better than the first movie. But I did see other reactions cite the problems I've been told about, like the film juggling too many plot threads, depending on how the pacing is received for everyone who watches it. My friend from the test screening actually was at the premiere last night. They did enjoy it a second time around, but still didn't find it to be all that great. Uh, since there were some improvements, they did admit that. I'll go in with low expectations personally, but I know for a fact it will bury the first movie. Just from the stuff that I know, I know this will be better than the first movie. Also, visually... I would have to say that it does, of course, look better th than the first movie, but the writing still has its problems, which is why I think a lot of this is also going to be a game of peekaboo, like what killed the first movie. Uh, I know the first movie also had some issues where you as the viewer were waiting for them to catch on to solve the mystery because they kind of solved the mystery for the audience in the first five minutes of the opening. And then you were spending so much longer with these other new characters waiting for them to figure out something you already know. And I don't think they're doing this approach with the Nun 2, which already to me makes it better. I just hope I end up enjoying it and hope I come out having to say a lot of positives about the movie because I know for right now I am going to keep on joking that it's trash until I see it. Execution is everything though. I've said it that I have no problem giving that movie a good review. Last thing we're going to talk about here is The Exorcist Believer. This one is funny as hell to me because this movie is getting knocked out of the release spot once again. Five Nights at Freddy did it first and now Taylor Swift delivered a second knockout. The Exorcist Believer is coming October 6th now. This is the second move because October 27th did not stick. That turned into October 13th due to Five Nights at Freddy and now due to Taylor Swift, October 13th has turned into October 6th. The AMC app today was spiraling due to Taylor as well. So they made the right call here if they want Exorcist to survive because the Swifties would have annihilated that weekend the exorcist believer better stay put and take that l if something else arises but october 6th should be a sticking point jason blum announced it with a tweet earlier today and again i just think it's funny that taylor swift caused this she's a star no denying that but i never thought i would see a day like today where a horror movie shifted release days dates due, due to taylor swift let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video